that was absolutely sweet. Man City won Atletico Madrid 0 and we deserve that on the Champions League quarterfinal first leg. I'm really, really happy with that performance. Genuinely, I thought that was everything we needed it to be tonight. Of course, a second or third goal would have been wonderful, but ultimately the best team won and that is all that matters to me. I do want to say quickly thank you to OneFootball once again for sponsoring this channel. Download OneFootball right now by clicking the link in the description and get all your Manchester City stance information. Go and look at all the stats from today's game against Atletico. Go and look at all the goals and assists that Phil Foden gets because he's absolutely beautiful. And go and keep up to date with the world of football. Scan the QR code next to my face. Click the link in the description and help support my channel. It's absolutely fantastic. Download one football right now. Now, of course, I'm not at home. I'm in a hotel in London because I'm going to South Korea tomorrow, which is fascinating. And the camera is a bit naff. It's just my laptop camera, but it'll have to do. I really, really enjoyed that game of football. Um, it was tense. It was nerving. It was a war of attrition. But honestly, sometimes games like this really can help define a season. The job is far from done. I'm not absolutely naive enough to say that. But ultimately, that was a satisfying night for Manchester City Football Club. I was nervous about this game, I'll be honest. I trusted the team, yes, don't get me wrong, but I was still nervous that Simeone would do a Simeone. Atletico would do a Atletico and frustrate the life out of Manchester City. And even though they tried to do it, I wouldn't say they frustrated the life out of us. They definitely frustrated at times, but ultimately, City kept to their task. They kept to their um, kept to the plan, kept working Atletico and eventually got the goal that our play deserved. Don't get me wrong, uh, Atletico aren't the team that they used to be, but that was still a tough game of football that could easily go the wrong way. They are not the kind of game that you want to play if you haven't got a recognised striker. Though maybe the fact that we didn't have one helped create a little bit of space for that goal. Um, overall, I'm really proud of the team. I'm really proud of the team because... The first thing you have to do against Atletico is match that endeavour, match that aggression, that work rate. And I love that this team is not afraid to mix it whatsoever. I love that they are willing to put a foot in. They are willing to be a little bit snide. They are willing to raise to that level of aggression. And Guardiola had this team motivated and ready for this. Um, and he'll be a really happy man. Of course, Guardiola always wants more from his players, and that's absolutely correct. Um, and of course, we could have maybe created some more chances. But I'm not going to complain. And nights like this on the business end of the season, just get the job done and play well. And we did those both of those things. We got the job done tonight and we did definitely play well. Not scintillating, but well enough. And um, I, I can't really criticise anyone. I want to first of all go for the unsung heroes. Ake, absolutely fantastic yet again. I really thought he was good. He was solid defensively. Of course, he's not going to be the threat going forward. But I want to pull out the man that barely ever gets the headlines. Ake was good. Not the star of the night, but he was really good. Defensively as well, we were really, really solid. A couple of, a couple of small slips here and there. I think Cancelo... Uh, gave the ball away once as they counted. But overall, defensively, we were really solid. Rodri shut their midfield down really, really imperiously uh, against his former club, of course, Rodri, which I didn't really click until right now this second, actually. Uh, Rodri was absolutely excellent. Um, and come of the hour... Come of the big man. Special footballers do special things in special moments. And that could be about absolutely anyone here. It could be about two players in particular, Phil Foden and Kevin De Bruyne. But I'm talking about Kevin De Bruyne, who continues to single-handedly drag us through some of these big games. Not single-handedly, that's unfair to his colleagues and right, uh, colleagues and so on. But he definitely does wonderful things for us. I love him. I absolutely love Kevin De Bruyne. Um, He's just got this star quality to his game. You do feel like he's going to have a big assist or a big pass or a big dribble or a big shot, whatever. You just sense that he's doing that. And it's so lovely to see Kevin De Bruyne find that fitness and that sharpness to his game because he's crucial. Like, special players really do have these big moments to their game. And that's what Kevin De Bruyne is right now. And I absolutely love it. But to me, the star boy tonight was Phil Foden. What an impact sub that was. I was crying out at half-time personally for Phil Foden to come on and to face the goal. To come on, not just as a false nine, but to actually face the goal and use that incredible technique, that incredible awareness that we know he's got. And that's what we got from Phil Foden. We got the full array of tricks from a man absolutely at home at this level. That's what I love about Phil Foden. He really is at home at this level. And we know that. You know, He comes alive in the big games. He comes alive in the Champions League. And that isn't your normal thing. That is only what special players do. And special players... Well, Phil Foden is one of them. He really, really is. I love that uh, impact off the bench. Uh, the thing I love about it, it looks like he's just taken a few touches and played a simple pass. But it's more than that. 
It's the tightness of his touches, the way he shifts the ball between his feet. That drew three plays, and he still had the awareness and the, the, the ability to pick a perfect pass to Kevin De Bruyne, who'd made a, a perfect run and finished beautifully into the bottom corner, which he always does. He never lets us down in these big games. But Phil Foden continued from that moment on to be absolutely crucial. One delightful outside of the boot pass to create a chance for De Bruyne again. I think it was uh, a few beautiful dribbles as well. He was absolutely devastating on the right with a slight more turn of pace that helped him get away from play that Morris didn't necessarily get in the first half. Um, I love it when Phil Foden's facing the goal. I think he's been fine. A good sacrificial lamb was the false nine, but he's such an intelligent, brilliant footballer that he's wasted when he's not on the ball as frequently as he should be. Really, really was an inspired substitution. And I thought Guardiola got it right, by the way, to bring on three players. Atleti had just brought on three of their own, and he countered their chaos by introducing chaos essentially and that was a really intelligent move because those plays hadn't yet settled I don't know if you would have done that anyway but either way currently Atleti were trying to find their formation and their system as those three changes had come on they were trying to be more attacking actually in a weird way but Guardiola but those three substitutions were so perfectly timed because uh, they did disrupt the momentum that Atleti were trying to build. And I love that. And Phil Foden popped up into the half space where Koke was previously, made that little pass. And I think Greedis was an inspired substitution as well. I was pissing myself laughing at Greedis absolutely getting under their skin. Greedis was fantastic. He was so good at annoying them. And I don't know why they, they hated Greedis so much, but I absolutely loved it. Seriously. They really, really could not stand him. Like They had a thing for him. And he was there giggling away and they were really getting wound up, trying to kick him repeatedly. I don't know why they were kicking him so much, but all I know is I absolutely enjoyed the fact that they had them in tears. He absolutely ruffled them. He triggered them. And you know what? <laughs> it's good to see them get a taste of their own medicine. He was loving it. And he knew what he was doing as well. He's got to play next week because he draws so much attention. And how can they get their game going if they're too busy fouling Jack Grealish? And I know you shouldn't play someone just because they get fouled. But honestly, he's under their skin for whatever reason. And I absolutely love it. Jesus, of course, was bustling and vibrant when he came on, and we got the exact uh, reaction that we needed out of substitutions. Overall, it was a really, really, really nice result from Manchester City. Guardiola uh, was sarcastic afterwards, and the substitutions, he said, today, the manager was so clever. I love it, Pep. You absolutely take it. You get a stick when you get it wrong in the Champions League, so when you get it right like this, you revel in it, Pep Guardiola, and he was right, and I love him. I absolutely love him, and I think he was right to be confident and sassy before the game, because he must have sensed something in the air. He must have sensed that the players were really, really up for this, and you can tell. Um, Guardiola talked about his substitutions. He said the guys were playing well, but we know with Jesus and Phil that they had a special energy and Jack's quality to keep and play the ball. And he's right, genuinely. He also referred to their formation as 5 5 as he smirked and said it, which is, I think it was actually was 5 5. It really was. Uh, it was simple as that. So I love that tonight. I loved it. Phil Foden coming on, being the superstar that we know he is, the young Bert himself from Stockport, changing the course of it. And we can't pretend how big this is in the context of a title race. I mean, I know it sounds weird, but a game like this, a result like this before a game against Liverpool, it's really, really, really key. And a good result is key because it keeps that momentum going. And I was saying on the watch long that I was on, like a battle against Atleti where it's really hard to break down uh, a team could be perfect preparation for Liverpool. Weirdly, I think we'll get more joy against Liverpool than we ever would against Atletico Madrid because they're harder to play against. They'll sit back in the two banks of five, as Guardiola pointed out. Whereas Liverpool, I actually watched them tonight against Benfica as well because I was on a watch along with two screens at the same time. Liverpool do have uh, chances to concede. Benfica had plenty of chances. Darwin Nunes ran them ragged at times. They were vulnerable on the counter. They won 3-1, don't get me wrong. But there was definitely deficiencies there. There were definitely weaknesses. And City will create more chances against Liverpool than they did against Atletico. It's no guarantee, of course, but I would not be surprised at all if this is a much more open game. And that could play into our hands. We've had the battle against Atletico, so that's got us warmed up for a battle. Battle, we've had to be really focused, so that's got us ready for that. And we've also played a big game and come out with a big result for the momentum. So everything points towards us being in a really good situation going into this game. So this was a perfect night. Of course, now away at the fantastic stadium, Atletico Madrid, it's going to be really, really difficult. But they have to come out and score 
And I think we will score again away from home. They have to score two then in that instance. They don't have to, but they do. If they want to go through. I, I can't not see us scoring away from home. It, it's not impossible, of course. You might not. But I do just trust. I do trust when we've got someone like Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden and so on. De Bruyne was talking about Atletico. He said it was very hard. Almost five in the back and five in midfield. Very hard to find the space. I'd recommend to everyone who says something to us about this game to go and try it in the training pitch. And he's not wrong at all. They are a master at destruction. Uh, but that's why you have players like... Uh, Kevin De Bruyne and why you have managers like Guardiola and you have players like Phil Foden a good night from Manchester City a big result a really big result honestly um, it's not a classic game but once again Manchester City when it mattered we answered the big questions against a team that even though they may not be the best these days they know how to destroy they know how to disrupt they know how to defend and we still had the persistence the, the battle, the the patience and the confidence to get the job done. I'm a really, really happy boy. Thank you so much for watching this. I'm sorry it's not the fancy camera. I'm sorry it's not the fancy mic, but a video of talking about how great City are is better than no video at all. Trust me on that. Thank you to all the patrons, of course, scrolling down the side of the screen and the, and the members as well. Um, videos have been a bit hectic recently because I've been traveling a lot and I'm off to Korea tomorrow as well, so it's going to be even more hectic. But uh, for now, though, Big love to all of you. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Come on, City. That is a big, big result.